What's happening YouTube? Chevelle 74 US here uh, coming at you again. Um, just want to talk about some Harbor Freight hammers. Some Pittsburgh hammers. Uh, $13 worth of hammers. Uh, I like this little stubby hammer right here. It's a little ball peen hammer. Um, you know, feels good in the hand. Uh, sometimes you just need to you need something that doesn't have a big handle if you're working in a tight spot or whatever. A uh, nice little ball peen hammer will do the trick. And I believe this guy was uh, three bucks. Three bucks for that. And the uh, the tack hammer, four forty nine, and the soft face mallet, five ninety nine. So three dollars. You got yourself a nice little hammer. And um, I don't really see how you can go wrong because you're not going to use something like this to just wail on things, you know. Uh, you got hammers for all different sizes for that purpose. But, you know, nice little small hammer for $3. You can't really go wrong. Um, I got this little tack hammer right here. You know, like if you got to tap out little small dents. Uh, this is a good little hammer. Um... You know, I'm not sure how the wood handled, you know, how it's going to last. You know, if these, if these heads are going to get loose. I mean, right now it's tight. But again, this isn't the type of hammer that you use to whale on things. And for under $5, you can't really go wrong. This is the hammer that initially ca caught my eye. Because um, I've been wanting one of these for a little while. And uh, these have got the... Uh, yeah, removable uh, striking ends on them which I'm not sure like if uh, these are kind of like a universal thing if you can purchase these separately to replace them but either way um, not a bad hammer for the price. Uh, I think uh, it's it's better to have probably a uh, a cheaper hammer that's the right hammer than one hammer for everything. You know, you can't use a five pound uh, steel mallet for everything. Um, every hammer has its purpose. Uh, I've got different types of hammers. I've got, you know, soft low hammers, rubber face ma uh, hammers. I got, you know, steel mallets. Um, and uh, and I thought these would be a nice addition for the money. You can't really go bad. Um, you can't go wrong. Next hammer I want to get is I want to get like a uh, a brass hammer. So that's great for. You know, hammering on metal surfaces where you need more of a, a little bit more of a sharper blow, but you don't want to mar the surface. The brass is softer, so that works for that. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you what you know, thirteen my thirteen dollar haul from Harbor Freight uh, this weekend was. Um, nice addition to my little hammer collection. Alright guys, uh, you know, if you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe. I got uh, videos uh, on other tool purchases and additions to my toolbox, and uh, I just recently uploaded a, a tour of my 72-inch Harbor Freight box all loaded up with tools, so you could check that out if you'd like, and, uh, and I'll be reviewing some other things soon, so uh, thanks for watching.